Okay, friends, we're going to go ahead and get started today. How are we today? Good. good. Thumbs up if you're having a good day. Yeah. All right. I like to see all those thumbs. Okay, today we are going to talk about poultry and eggs. So that's chicken, right? We like to eat chicken, and here's our baby chick that comes in an egg. We're going to talk about all those things today um, and all the things that come with the poultry industry. So we're going to talk about broiler and layer chickens, what, those, what that means and what those are and what they provide for us. We're gonna talk about what chickens eat to stay healthy because just like us, they have to eat certain things to make sure that they're staying healthy. Different poultry products that we have and what happens to an egg once it leaves the farm. A lot of good stuff to cover today. Okay, so here is an example of a poultry farm. This is called a cool cell. So inside these barns, there's <coughs> feed and water and um, for the chickens to have whenever they are they're living, right? This is where they live. They live in here. Um, and animal health is a high priority for the farmers and the poultry producers that have these chickens. These buildings are temperature controlled so that the farmer can take the utmost care of these animals. Um, so that means that just like our air conditioning or our buildings, it's warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Make sure I said that right and didn't get it backwards. Okay. So who can raise their hand and take a guess for how many days it takes a chick to hatch? Who has a guess? Yeah. Three? Is that what you said? A few more than three. Yeah. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Let's see if you're right. Twenty-one days. Have you guys had chicks in here before? No. No? How do you know it was twenty-one? How did you know? Oh, in second grade. Okay, well, so then you guys know it's 21 days for a chick to hatch, right? In those, in the eggs, the incubator. So this is what the hatchery looks like, right? I know there's a lot of them in that picture, right? So this is where the, the farmer keeps his chicks whenever they're this young, they're this small, they're uh, small in this little area. Why do you think he might keep them all together? Somebody raise their hand who has an idea. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yep, they all grow at the same rate, right? That's exactly right. Why else? Uh, because they like, the, when they have fully grown chickens, they line them up, and they don't want uh, them to be mad, uh, like fight at each other. Mm -hmm. So he does that so that they can get along before being fully grown. That's a great guess. Yep, they're getting used to each other now, so they get along when they get older, right? They don't want to fight. Um, Another reason is so that he knows where they all are so that he can take care of them in the best way, right? He can see if they all have an issue of some kind, he can take care of that. Or if one of them maybe um, is hurt, then he can take care of that as well. So there's a lot of things, a lot of positives that go along with having all the chicks there at once. <clears throat> so what do chickens eat? We've talked about cows and what cows eat, right? We've talked about other animals and what they eat. So chickens eat a very balanced diet, um, and the diet includes corn, wheat, milo, and soybean meal. So raise your hand if you remember what the chicken feed looked like whenever you had chicks in your classroom last year. Did anybody remember what it looks like? Oh, you didn't have chicks. Not a lot of you did. You did? Okay. Do you remember, Miss Davis, what the feed looked like? They, it's kind of a ground, you can kind of see it here, the light's on, but um, you can kind of see it, it's kind of like grape nut cereal, like it's a ground up kind of a meal, it's all ground up together. Um, the cattle feed, a lot of times you can kind of make out the different ingredients and see what's in there, but the chicken feed is it's all kind of ground up together, so it all kind of looks the same. But the chickens feed it, eat it out of feeders just like this, um, and that's what they eat. It's very important that farmers take into account what a chicken needs and what its body needs, um, because healthy chickens produce the most amount of eggs. Remember yesterday we we talked about dairy cows and how healthy cows produce the most amount of milk. It's the same way with chickens, right? The farmers are very um, aware of how many eggs the chickens produce so that they can produce as many as possible. Uh, okay. So in the poultry industry, we have two different kinds of chickens, kind of like we have different types of cattle, right? We have beef cattle and dairy cattle. This is very similar. So the broiler chickens are used for their meat. So our chicken nuggets, our chicken breasts, our chicken legs, our chicken wings, right? All the meat that we eat, those are the broilers. And they take about 45 days for their total life cycle, right? The layers are used for their egg production. So they're kind of like the dairy cows, right? We use them for their eggs. Um, it take, they have about 24 eggs per cycle. So 
There's two different types of chickens that we have. Yes? Dairy cows don't lay eggs. You're correct in that, but we use them for their milk, right? Okay, so the broiler production race for their meat, like I said. So in this picture, this little boy is on his family's farm and he's walking out through his chickens to check and see um, if any of them need any extra care and how they're doing, if they need feed replaced or c new fresh water, anything like that. Um, he's going out through there to help his family check on his chickens. And those are the kinds of things that the farmer goes out and checks on whenever he goes and checks his chicken barns as well. Ow. Okay. So these are, um, this is, talks about the layer production, okay? So the layer chickens, right, where we um, have the, this is the ones we use for their eggs. So a hen does not have a baby chick unless a rooster is there, okay? So all of the eggs you eat from the grocery store were laid from hens where there were no roosters, so there's not going to be any chicks in your eggs, okay? But these live in a controlled setting, the hens do, um, to make sure that they're comfortable at all times. Like we talked about the um, heated barns and the cooled barns, right? They're temperature controlled um, and they have access to constant feed and water. So they get to eat all they want, drink all they want. They live a pretty good life, right? Um, and then this little girl here is on her family's farm as well. She's checking the eggs to see if any of them are cracked or dirty or need to be run back through the cleaner or anything like that. Um, so she's checking on those eggs. She's having a good day, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Friday's your birthday. That's exciting. Okay, so different hens. Um, hens are female chickens, right? So just like a cow is a female, a hen is a female. It is an all-day event for a chicken to make an egg and lay it. So one chicken lays one egg every day. It takes about 24 to 26 hours. Um, as the yolk moves through the chicken's body, a thick white layer called the egg white is formed and that takes about three hours. So from 24 minus three is 21. So the 20, remaining 21-ish hours um, is where the egg shell is formed and her body takes calcium from the body and puts it around the egg and that's what the shell is made out of, the part that you crack off whenever you go to eat an egg, right? So that's how an egg is formed and then she lays it and then the whole process starts all over again. So the hens lay eggs and the eggs are collected um, on a ga and gathered on a machine called the gathering belt. So these little tubes roll just like this and the eggs move on through. Um, and these rollers are very gentle so they don't crack any of the eggs because eggs are very fragile, right? They break really easily. When Miss Caroline was boiling these eggs for us today, I dropped one on the floor and it was a mess to clean up. <laughs> okay. So the next step is the eggs um, are washed. So they use hot water and soap to wash the outside of the eggs. It removes any dirt and germs that may have come there whenever the egg was laid. So it all goes through this gathering belt here and they wash and dry the eggs there. They're then candled and grated. So candling is when they look on the inside of the egg. They hold it up to a light and we'll have another picture of that here in just a minute. But that's where they check the inside. So when you hold the le leg egg up to the light, you can see the inside. You can see how fresh the egg is. You can see if there's anything in there that maybe isn't supposed to be in there. Um, and you can check the inside of that egg. So anytime you're dealing with eggs and the inside of them, you want to make sure you wash your hands in hot water um, and wash all the utensils and the cutting board and the counters and everything whenever you're finished. Um, that's just good food safety practice. And then you want to throw away any eggs that haven't been cooked that are cracked. So here's a picture of what it looks like to be candled. I'm going to hit this light, see if I can remember how to I do it right. Yes. Two days in a row, you guys. I've got this light thing down. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that'll work for now. <laughs> I told her right as I get done with these lessons, I'm going to figure out these lights. Okay, so this is what it looks like when the egg is candled. So what do you think this dark circle here might be? Raise your hand. Yeah, what do you think? I think it's the yolk. The yolk, yeah. So that's the egg yolk, right? So what is this part around the outside, this other part? The yeah. The egg white? Yeah. That's the rest of the egg, right? So then the shell is here, and then you can kind of see the light back here. Um, but you can make your own candling light at home using, you can, I think, do it with a flashlight, honestly. But if you want to get real fancy, you can do like a, um, what's the white stuff called? PVC pipe. 
and you can make like a, put a light bulb in it and build it if you want to get really fancy. But anyways, um, so you can look at the inside of your eggs doing it that way. Grading is when you look at the outside. So they check for any kind of extra calcium deposits or cracks or any kind of abnorm abnormal thing that's going on there. Um, they grade it on that. They grade it on their size. They grade it on the age of the egg. Um, there's all kinds of factors that go into grading eggs. Yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. No, um, so they'll check and make sure, the candling goes pretty quick, they hold it up to the light and just kind of turn it around like this. If you hold it up to the light, you can see hairline cracks, so if maybe it's not visible to the eye, um, but if they hold it up there and they see a crack, they're like, oh, that, one, that egg's not going to make it, it'll be cracked by the time it gets to the grocery store. Um, they, you can also see if something were to happen and there is a chick in there, you can see that. Um, if some of the eggs, some of the hen's body, sometimes like a little blood spot will get in there somehow and the whole egg will turn red and so obviously you don't want that to go to the store so they just, most of the time that doesn't happen but we'll watch a little video that talks about quality assurance grading and so if they, they check kind of randomly to make sure that their systems on the back end are doing their job. So then if they find one that's not great then they're like, well we need to make sure something else back there is doing something different. Yes. So if you're looking at an egg cracked open on a plate, it looks different than a baby chick, right? So if this is what it looks like whenever the egg's inside, it's going to look a lot different. It's going to look probably more solid. You're not going to be able to see the yolk on the inside. It does, you can't really see the chick, but you can see it different. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yep. Could be. What else? Um, do you guys like have like a light that you can add your chip on? Because we do. You do? Mm -hmm. <coughs> yep, that's a good idea. Uh, my family doesn't raise chickens, but we have beef cattle. But um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of farmers do a lot of different things when it comes to raising chickens. So that's that's really cool. Okay. So the eggs are then traveled in a refrigerated uh, truck and they're shipped to grocery stores all over the country. What is this lady doing? She's opening and looking in the carton. Why? Yeah. She's checking them. Why would she check them? Yeah. Nobody wants to eat, uh, or they need to recheck them just in case if they, if it did, like if they accidentally crack on the way. That's right. Nobody wants to buy broken eggs, right? That happened to me this morning. I went to buy these eggs at the store, and I looked in the cart, and one of them was broken. I said, not buying that one. I set it back, and I got a different one, right? Um, and then you can also tell the people working at the store, this carton has a broken egg in it, and they take care of it immediately. So that's a good thing to always do is to check your eggs when you're at the store because look at all these cartons you can buy that maybe don't have broken eggs in them, right? So eggs are a great source of protein. We've talked about protein in here when we did our nutrition lesson, right? Um, so eggs are very delicious, and they're a good source of protein. Raise your hand and tell me some of your favorite ways to eat an egg. Yeah. Hard boiled. Well, that's going to be convenient. Yeah. Um, um, scrambled in omelets. Scrambled in omelets. Yeah. What's another one? Fried. Fried. That's a good way. Yeah. Uh, scrambled. Scrambled. What's another one? Oh, the yolk. So like over easy, sunny side up. Yeah. What about you? Um, you, you, yeah. You put the um, in hot water and let it boil. Mm-hmm. Yep, hard-boiled egg. Yeah, what's another kind? <laughs> okay. Okay, so one egg has a lot of different vitamins and minerals in it. So vitamins A, D, E, and B12, along with biotin, choline, calcium, copper, iron, phosphorus, and more. So all of that comes from one egg, and that's very um, good for you to eat. It provides iron It does. Okay, friends, we're going to watch. Okay, so this video, I think you're really going to like. It has robots in it, which you might not think about whenever you think about egg production. But it's really cool, and it goes through the process of the egg facility from when the eggs get there from the chicken to how it gets into your carton at the store. This is our uh, shell egg processing facility, and this is where all the eggs come to from the farms. How many eggs do you process a day? We process about 1.8 million eggs a, a day here. Wow. 
It's about three times what we used to do 30 years ago. Well, let's go take a look. Okay. Coming, Josh? All right. Cal walked us down the line and showed us all the various stages of the process. This machine actually does two things. It rotates the eggs so that they're all in the same position throughout processing, and it washes them. They use a specialized solution of water and soap to clean and sanitize the eggs. The water temperature is about 106 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a dirt detection system. It used to be someone's job to look at all these eggs going past and pick out the ones that had spots of dirt on them. Now the eggs cruise right past an array of 16 different cameras. The eggs are rotated as they pass through, so the cameras can see all of the egg. The shots from the cameras are analyzed by this computer. If it sees a spot, that egg is automatically routed off to the side and back to the washer. Josh, music? We both need a good grade on this. Oh, ugh, fine. Speaking of sound, I thought this was interesting. It's a crack detector, and it checks the egg sonically. Tiny probes tap each egg and listen for the sound it makes. If the sound has a high pitch and sustained ring, the egg is fully intact. If it's more of a thud, there's a crack somewhere and that egg will be routed to a different line. The cool thing is how fast all this happens. The eggs don't even slow down because the machine taps and listens to each egg 16 times in a matter of seconds. Some places still candle the eggs, but this is how they do it now much faster and more efficient than the old way. And this is the modern version of the one egg at a time scale. The eggs pass over sensors built into the line, all controlled by a computer. Each egg is weighed over 60 times in under a second. There is only a three ounce difference in weight per dozen between different sizes of eggs, like medium, large, and extra large. The eggs then go through this grading machine, these machines are huge and can handle millions of eggs a day. Once the eggs have gone through all of the inspections and grading, they're sorted to separate lines for packaging. The eggs are sorted by grade and size. This is the line for grade A, large eggs. There are other lines for grades AA and B, medium and large sizes too. Big farms like this one fill orders for several different grocery outlets, so they'll run different cartons depending on their orders. Some stores specify fiber cartons, while others might use foam. Advanced technology is used in the packing. The date information is burned into the cartons with a laser. The date might be an expiration or sell-by date, which is used by the stores, or a best-by or use-by date, which is meant for the consumer. Basically, the carton of eggs you bring home from the store will last at least three weeks in your refrigerator with no real quality loss. And, if you've got lasers, you got to have robots. These arms are controlled by a computer that gets information from different sensors. So, the arms know when to pick up the cartons on each line, how to turn them, and when the box is full. Then, a new box is unfolded and the robotic arms keep on packing. The packed boxes are placed on pallets and sent to the refrigerated warehouse, where they'll be loaded into refrigerated trucks. This all happens pretty quickly, even with all these processing steps, eggs are often shipped out the same day they are laid. They told us that this person was not just randomly stealing eggs. To make sure all this high-tech machinery is doing a good job, they pull cartons off the line and check them for quality. The quality assurance employees check the eggs for cracks and dirt. Then they measure the eggs for size and confirm their grade to make sure they meet the standards. As long as everything checks out, this farm just keeps moving eggs. A place like this will ship millions of eggs every day. And that's just at one farm. Okay, who can raise their hand and tell me something they learned out of that video? Yeah. Yeah. If you got lasers, you gotta have robots. That's right. What else? So fast, right? They put that date on there so that they know when it was laid. Yeah, what'd you get? Yes, yes. I was hoping somebody would get that. 
the eggs are shipped out the same day they're laid. So the hen lays the egg, it goes through that whole process, and then they usually put it on a truck and send it to the grocery store the same day, right? So when you guys go to the grocery store, the eggs you're getting are super fresh. What else? It is fast, what? isn't it? That's a good question. So those little things that you saw tapping it to check for cracks, they do it very lightly so that they don't crack the egg. Um, but they listen for it. So they said the word that they do it sonically. So whenever that means sonically, that means they listen for it. So the machine is smart enough, smarter than me for sure, to know that whenever they tap it a certain way, if they hear it a certain thing, then they know it's cracked. So they don't have to tap it very hard to know that. So that's a really good question. Yeah. Eggs are excellent. That's exactly right. Yes. Mm -hmm. I saw like when the robot was in the box. Yep, the robots puts them in the box. A rip, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, friends, let's do one more from the video. Yeah, what's one more? Yes, what's your question? What if chickens in the egg, but they don't know that, and they do all those things, and then it gets shipped out, and someone gets it? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's a good question. So all the eggs that you get at the grocery store, remember we talked about how there has to be a hen and a rooster for the chick to be there? The, the hens that lay the eggs that are in the grocery store, they never have a rooster around them, so there's no chance for that happening. That's a good question. Yeah. Which comes first, the chicken or the egg? That is a million dollar question that I don't have the answer to. That's a <laughs> good question though. Okay, so we talked all about the eggs and how they get to the store, right? Um, so now we're going to move into our activity for today.